Hi all. Uh, today we're going to talk about factoring polynomials and what that means. And in particular, we're going to talk about a situation called common factoring. Okay? So hopefully by the end of the video, you're going to know what that means. Okay? <clears throat> so to start, I'm going to take you back to grade 7. Okay? Um, and you may have been asked to factor the number 6. Alright? So to factor the number 6 means what are the factors of number 6, right? So you would have said, well, 6 is 2 times 3, and those are the factors, right? There's one factor, there's another factor, okay? So when you're asked a factor, really you're being asked to uh, tell me what numbers were multiplied to make the number 6, and your answer is correctly 2 and 3. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6, which means the factors of 6 are 2 and 3. Okay? So now, of course, we're going to make that all a bit more complicated. And we're asked to factor the polynomial 2x plus 4. Okay? So what that means is we're asked to say what two things are multiplied so that 2x plus 4 is the answer. Okay? Well... Uh, you see that there's a binomial here with an x and then with just a number. So I'm guessing that one of the factors is going to have x and then a number. All right? So now the question is, what do we multiply to this x? And we can guess that it's a 2. Right? And if I do my expanding, 2x is 2x. And then what do I need here? in order to end up with a 4, well, it's a 2, right? So 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 2 is 4, so those are my factors, okay? So we can say the factors of 2x plus 4 are 2 and x plus 2, okay? So let's see another one. So what if we need to factor the polynomial x squared minus x, or sorry, 2x squared minus x? Okay. So again, it's going to be one polynomial times another polynomial. Okay. Well, I want you to look back here and see how I decided to put a 2 out here. Okay. Well, you see how there's a 2 in here. And also, that 4 is actually 2 times 2. So there's a 2 in there as well. Okay? So I want you to look back at the title of the lesson, and it's called Common Factors. Okay? So what we're doing is we're trying to see, is there a common factor in each one of these terms that I can factor out? Okay? So what that means is we have to look here and say, is there a common thing that could multiply to both of these terms? And our answer should be yes. There's an x here, and there's an x here. So I could start by having x as one of the factors. Now the question is, what do I need to multiply that x by in order to get our answer? So here I have a 2, so of course the 2 has to be there, and I have an x squared, which means an x had to multiply another x. So x times 2x is 2x squared. Okay. Now the question is, what do I need to multiply x by to get negative x? And you should come up with the answer that it's negative 1. Okay. So there's our next answer. Right? So we could say the factors <coughs> of 2x squared minus x are x and 2x minus 1. Okay. So here's the last one. This one's a little bit more complicated. Okay. Well, it looks more complicated, but it's really fairly straightforward. Remember, we're talking about common factors. So what's common in each? So here's one term. Here's another term. What's common in each one of these terms? And you should see that x plus 3 is common in each term. Okay. So what that means is that x plus 3 would be one of the factors, and the other factor would be 2, because there's a 2 left there, right? 
plus x because there's an x left there. Okay. All right. So that's that. I'll see you folks in class tomorrow.